Hello everyone, Manny Kazen here and welcome back to another video. I am back. As I said, I was going to be gone for a while. But this video is not about talking about, well, where I've been. But it's about how to make custom shields. Y'all voted in my poll on my community post on how to make custom shields. And I will show you today. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. Alright, we're on my desktop now and we have Blockbench open. So, yeah, that's what you want to do first, of course, is open up Blockbench. And once you're there, we want to click Java block slash item. Once we have clicked that, it will open this page. We want to name this project whatever you want. For now, I will name it BB underscore shield. Now, remember, when making a name for a model or texture, do not include any special characters or spaces or uppercases. Keep it lowercase, and if you want to do a space, put an underscore. This will keep it organized and also easy to read for the computer. Once you have named your shield, you can press confirm. Now we're into the editor, and the first thing we want to do is, of course, make a shield. I recommend first making folders of how you want to make your shield. Maybe I want to frame my shield, make a base, and make a handle so it could be look like so it can look more holdable. I'll do that too. There we go. Now we have three folders set up. First thing you want to do is make a cube, but I want you to do your own thing. If you want, you can follow along, but I will speed up this process. So without further ado, let me introduce to the new thing that I'm going to do every time I do a block bench now, mod the modeling montage. Let's go. That's all I have modeled and you might notice that is it only half of it. The reason why is because we're going to texture it and once we texture it, it will already be textured. But if you don't want to, you can just select everything, duplicate it with control D and then press transform and flip and flip X and it'll do that. I'll do that and I'll leave it like that. And now it is on. Oh, wait, I missed something. Uh, give me a minute. All right, um, I modeled everything that I forgot to. Um, I made the base and the handle. And now I have to texture it. And so to do this quickly, you want to press Control A to select everything and press Create Texture. And I recommend keeping it the same as the model's name. So I'll put DB underscore shield, but you can put whatever you want for the texture's name. And there we go. Now it's all textured. And we have to go to the Paint tab and give it some textures that we would like. I like to recommend um, what's it called? compressing all the folders so it can be easier to uh, or sort them out. So you can close one, close the other, and yeah. So I'm gonna work on the base for now and we're gonna make this sort of a wood texture. So this is a new montage, another one I'm gonna do, the texturing montage. So let's go. finished with the wood texture um, but I want it to be sort of the same on the other side so to do that we can click the back and then drag the south up here but I don't want it to be exactly the same so what I'm gonna do is flip the UV on both the X and Y so it looks a little bit unique I won't do anything for the edges as it is already covered up with the frame and now we have to do the texturing for everything else so I'll do that real quick
there we go we've added textures to everything on the shield uh i would add more detail to give this more of a new look maybe make it brighter on this side um who knows uh i, I would recommend it to give it more of the nice vanilla feel of it like being a sort of um like it was already in the game make you feel like you're the mod developer or something i don't know give you that feeling of power of minecraft um but yeah this is this is what i would do uh you can texture it and what i've noticed is that you don't really have to detail everything as even minecraft textures aren't that detailed but they are look they look like it but they're not really so that's what i'll leave you as um but you can go back later on i really like it and yeah but how do you make it a shield well we want to go to the display tab when you're in the display tab i recommend you go to third person left and changing the pose angle for preview only to zero reason why it will get that flat position and now you can rotate it freely and you can see that even if i go left it will go right so go right i don't know why this happens i don't know if it's a block bench glitch or something now we want to make this go to a 90 degree angle so we can just go that and input it by hand and if you may if you were like me and made a handle you might want to line up the handle with your hand so let's do that and my handle is pretty big i don't know why uh and there we go but we want to go a little bit up so i'd say right there is a good handle and you can resize it or if you want um i'll leave it uh how it is and now that we have it as we wanted it we can press the copy button and paste it on the right side this will give it the exact same shape and feel this is good so you don't have to work hard on well the same side and now we don't now what i'd like to do is um make sure it doesn't block all the screen so i'm gonna make it go down a little bit and leave it around there i like that so we'll copy it and paste it onto the left side as well you can make it as big as you want you can make it block your face if you wanted it um but i don't recommend it as it wouldn't be fun and you can go wild with anything else um i like to add little easter eggs so like maybe like a nice face cover right here would be nice i don't know um ground i like to put it on the item preset to make it nice and small but at a good size the frame is when it's in the item frame it looks nice here but you can just push it down a little bit and there we go and maybe put it more into the item frame and that looks nice and the gui this one's a little bit tricky as you have to rotate it or what you could do is use the block preset and it'll look fine and then you can edit it from there and that's what i'm gonna do and i like that position that looks really nice actually all right <laughs> we're done with the shield so what did what now well we're gonna save it we're gonna save the texture first a lot of people have been commenting on my videos and even reaching out to me on discord saying that something's not working correctly and most of the time it's because they saved the model before the texture the reason why i say save the texture first is so that the model recognizes where it is all right save the texture and I even left a custom folder that I made for y'all to use, and it's called Custom Shield Example Folder. We're gonna go in there, go into Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Custom Shields, and we can see it's blank. Maybe you wanna add another folder. You can if you want. I will, and I'll call this BB underscore shield, block bench shield. And now we're gonna go into it and save the texture there. Now we save the texture. Now we must save the model. So export, export blog slash item. And where is it? Oops, that's secret files. Don't go in there. Um, custom shield example folder. We go in it. Go to assets. Go to model. Minecraft. Optifine. DIT models item. And there we go. We'll save it into there. We're not done yet. And now we just want to go to our desktop. Here it is, the folder that I made. We're gonna go in it. Let it load. There we go. Assets. Let it load again. Minecraft. Let it load again. Optifine. CIT. Models. Item. 
and now we're here. As you see, I left an example properties file. This is to help you so you can be easier to work with it. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it. Once we have done that, rename it. Rename it to the same name as you modeled your shield. So mine would be bbshield.properties. And there we go. Also before, hold on, give me a minute. Before we go further, people also reached out to me saying that something's not working. And I've checked, they left the .txt or .txt file on there. So to see the proper files ending, press the three dots and press, uh, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Press view, show, and show file name extensions. Make sure it has a check mark on it. And now you will see it. So we want to go into the properties folder that we just made. And you can see I made even little templates where it says model. Uh, shield name with the brackets you can remove that including the brackets and put BB shield or whatever you modeled your shield as and there we go now we're going to name this to mbt where it says mbt.display.name we want to name this anything we want so I'll just call this BB shield in Minecraft this is what you're going to have to rename it in Minecraft I recommend lifting it all and pressing Control C to copy it and then save it once it is saved, we want to we can close this tab in Block Mesh now that we have this other model saved. The reason why I said close it is because if you try to move the folder straight into Minecraft, it will give you an error message saying it can't. So that's why. So now we're going to go back into Minecraft, Options, Resource Packs, Open Pack Folder. And let it load because it takes a while, especially with my potato of a computer. And here we go. That's the resource pack folder. And now we have the custom shield folder that I have in my description. We want to drag it into the resource pack folder. If it says this, you want to press try again. Okay, now we see that it's actually not working at all. So what you can try is press cancel and close block bench all entirely. This could work. And there we go. It is now in there. We can scroll all the way down and there we go. We go back to Minecraft, and here it is, Custom Shields Example Folder. We're going to implement it into the game, press done, and let it load, which will be a couple seconds for you, but a minute for me. There we are, we're back into the game. And now we want to go to your nearest anvil, and grab your, the, oh my gosh, I'm having a lisp, uh, a shield of your choice, and go into it. I named it BB Shield. And if you did, you copied it beforehand, or you can type it by hand, BB Shield. And there we go, it is now in the game. Ow, loud anvil sound. And there we go, we can see it looks great. But there's a problem. When you use the blocking animation, it does this. The reason why is because the shield has its own model for the blocking animation. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. We want to go back into block bench. Yes, even though I told you to close it, we want to go back to it. Let it load for a minute. And now we're back in block bench. And you can see that it's no longer in here, even if we did it recently. So to find it, we're going to press open model. And oops, not again. Um, you can see that I have a folder already pre-made to go into the Minecraft files. So yeah. <laughs> But to access it, you might want to just not do this. What you can do is go to the resource pack folder. Go to the there, 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 DIT, models, item. And there we go. We found our model. Now we're going to drag it into block bench. Press it. And there we go. As you see, there's a problem. I mean, it can't find the texture. So to do that, just press import texture and go to your resource pack folder. Or what you could do is if you already have it opened, go all the way back into Minecraft, textures, custom shields, and whatever you saved it as. And there we go. We could just simply drag it into here. Now we're gonna import texture. And there we go. 
we can delete this and to do that you just select it and press the delete key on your computer now you can see it's just a mess of colors press Control a to collect all the models uh, assets and just drag it on drag the texture onto there now you can see only you applied it to one face so to do that i recommend doing it from here and dragging it onto the folders that you've made and there it will go and now you can see it's the exact same even the display is the same but how do we make the blocking animation that was here well it's pretty simple i recommend starting with the first person right and going up a little bit and going to the side and rotating it as that's how the mi normal minecraft shield is you can do it like this but i don't recommend doing it a little bit lower and there we go press copy and press paste on the left hand and now we have this issue i recommend going to the left person and doing this again where you press zero and make it straight now i don't know really how to make it so you might want to mess around with this so i will actually start with the right hand even though i said left hand and we're just gonna mess around maybe rotate it a little bit actually no we're gonna use left i'm sorry i can't make up my mind we're gonna rotate a little bit i guess that look fine we can just copy it and paste it onto that side now we didn't mess with anything here that's good so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna click this and press it and it will give us the option to rename our model i recommend doing this so you can find your blocking model i recommend naming it the same but adding underscore blocking so you can signify that it's blocking press confirm file export export block slash item and there we go it'll take us probably to the same place where we got the original file and you can see the name is the same as this one we don't want that so we're going to change it underscore blocking we're going to add that and there we go we're going to press save and go back into the resource pack folder we're going to go all the way back to minecraft and that just took me to the Minecraft uh, roaming file. Oopsies. Um, I'll be there in a minute. And there we go. We're back in here. Now we're going to go Optifine, CIT, Models, Item. And there we go. Now we have the blocking animation. We're going to press the rename and Control A to select everything. We're going to copy it. And we can click out of it. Go into the properties file of the shield that you made previously. And now you can see there's another, a new custom line that I've even added model dot shield blocking. Now here's where you want to paste the name that you just copied, or you can type it manually. Remove the brackets, and here we go. BB underscore shield underscore blocking. Go. Now we have the blocking animation, and we can save it. Go back into Minecraft, and you might want to reload your textures. To do this quickly. Do F3 and T. This will refresh your textures. Now we shall wait. We're back into Minecraft. And you can see the shield model looks untouched. So we're going to right click it. And you can see it has a blocking animation now. Great. And oops. And if we go to F and when we go to first person, you can see it even has a shield. And it works functionally. Don't forget a skeleton. We're gonna summon into some dark space, so I'll be down here. And um, we're just gonna summon it here. Go to survival mode. Shield up, and you can see it's working perfectly fine as a normal shield. I hope the video that you watched on how to make custom shields was helpful to you. If you have any issues or recommendations of what my next block bench tutorial should be, please leave it in the comments below. I'm also on TikTok now. So make sure to go follow that. I'll link a link in the description. Anyways, that's the end of my video. So take care.